<laughs> hey guys, welcome to Brew Stories. Hey guys. Where it's our mission to meet the people and bring the stories behind the best beers around. That's right, it is, yeah. Hey Dean, what has Time Rebel of South Time Wales, Rebels, yeah. yeah, Beaver Town of London, Beaver Town, right, and Stone of California got in common? Um, well, they all make great beer. That's very true. Yeah. But also, they all were taught here in North England. Oh wow, that's incredible. At a place called Brew Lab. Brew Lab, right. Do you want to find out more? Yeah, let's go inside. Come on then. Let's go. Brew Lab is a purpose-built brewery training and analysis centre on the banks of the Weir in Sunderland. Established in the 1980s by Keith Thomas, a lecturer and microbiologist from Sunderland University, today Brew Lab works with brewers and breweries from all over the world. We met up with Keith and asked him how it all started. So it started in about the 1980s, and that was a time where there were very few breweries around, and very few small breweries, and um, in fact we never really intended to start up what we do now we were really looking at helping breweries which had problems. That was a bit of an instigation and we put on, I remember distinctly putting on a course of startup brewing and we had, people's, <laughs> we had people from around in the UK but we also had a chap from Canada who'd heard about it and came over um, and that was you know, quite an inspiration. We, we were quite encouraged and we produced more laboratory classes, we produced more how to start up brewing classes and it gradually grew, it grew as the industry grew. I suppose we were part of that as it developed. So you work with breweries and people who want to set one up. What is it that you think BrewLab offer them specifically? So I think we offer them a very good structured programme uh, which is quite condensed and it's something which is very focused on starting up a business or getting a job in a brewery. And we offer the practical work so we get, we're able to say, do a brew yourself, get a feel of it, get to understand it, get to test it and see whether it meets the specification and so on. And then we also give them the placement in a brewery. So we send them out and we put them with a working brewery to see a commercial operation and they see the hard work. And that structure, the sort of focused, here's the period of time, we're going to give you all these skills and understandings. And then we've got the business elements, the complements, the technical elements and so on. And a bit of laboratory work and quality control. So all of those go together. And I think it gives them a good package to be able to say now, I'm qualified, I understand what the market is, I can go out, I can get a job in a brewery, I can actually start my own business and be successful. Richard Hunt, course coordinator at BrewLab, tells us a little bit more about the training here. Here at BrewLab we run everything from short courses right through to long, long diploma courses. The BrewLab courses can range everywhere between a day right through to a nine week course. Uh, the one day courses focus purely on kind of specialist stuff like the QC side or the, the packaging. The three-day courses are for those people looking to get in the industry, want to know a bit more about it, looking to take their first steps, really looking to understand a bit more about the premises, design and equipment. We then run a couple of kind of longer, longer, shorter courses, um, so missing out the, the business side of things, um, but really just kind of delivering the, the skills to brew commercially in a, in a relatively shorter period of time. We'll then move on to the, the three-week course and the nine-week courses, which are both kind of an externally accredited and they look to, to kind of give a, a kind of a well-rounded education uh, for those people looking to, to set up and then operate their own breweries. Down in the brew room, we talked to Arthur Bryant and Tori Thompson about the practicalities of the training. Um, the students here kind of have a unique experience. Brew Lab is kind of a, a non-traditional brewing school, and the fact is that we have sort of uh, really state-of-the-art practical facilities. Uh, ranging from nano breweries to 100 litre kits to kind of full commercial facilities. So at the start of the course the students um, spend the first few weeks in the training room learning all the kind of theoretical kind of aspects of brewing and then after that when we feel comfortable that they're kind of you know good at uh, calculations, water chemistry, um, recipe development um, bringing their own preconceived ideas in on beer styles. Then we kind of let them loose on their own individual nano brewery, 25 litres. They can either do infusion mashes or they can do uh, step mashes. We have a good range of uh, ingredients from different malts, different hops, different yeasts. 
from that aspect, the students kind of move on. They can work on our 100 litre project kit, or they can you work on the full kind of uh, dorm brewery commercial kit. I like that, that is we have really good kind of uh, links with outside craft breweries, you know, in a circumference around Brew Lab, up on Tyneside and Wearside and down at the County Durham. And they kind of learn a little bit more on placement work with the different brewers. Brewing's not just craft and good old fashioned craft, it's a science. And nearby, Brew Lab has a specialist lab which offers analysis services to commercial breweries far and wide. We met up with Beerboff and Allison to find out more. So the laboratory um, services the microbrewing industry as well as the larger commercial breweries. So we cover them for microbial tests to make sure they've got nothing nasty in their beers. We check their beers to make sure that the alcohols are at the correct level. Um, we do fault finding in the breweries. We also store yeast here for them. We do a bit of research for the breweries, so if they're looking to produce a different beer, we can maybe match yeast to the specifications what they want, so different wheat beers, there's a lot of people who want bacteria now to brew sour beers and things like that, so, and so there's a massive range, you know, we also um, look after a lot of home brewers that just want little slopes of yeast to, to do 20 litre kits on, but we, we consider them just as important as the bigger breweries and give everybody the service that we really want. So you've got eastern cultures here for brewers, what are the biggest problems they face in terms of chemistry? Um, yeast wise, people come to us and ask for a specific strain for their brew which we can supply depending on what type of beers that they're brewing. We actually take samples of yeast, try it out in the brewery, then they send the yeast back to us when they're happy with it and then we store it specifically as their strain of yeast. So if they do have any issues in the brew, which happen quite often um, in the microbreweries, they can then replenish their yeast. Um, sometimes yeast get stressed, they might have fermentations that the temperature's gone above what it should um, and it stresses the yeast out for the next time it's good off and you the next break. Brew Lab also has its very own commercial brewery on site. It's called Darwin. We talked to Tori about her role there. Uh, I'm the head brewer at Darwin Brewery. Um, I came on a course three years ago, did the three week course and was lucky enough to be offered the job as they were going to start the brewery back up again. Wow, that's cool. So Brew Lab has a brewery on site. Yeah, so um, Darwin started about 1994 um, and it's as an outlet for the students so that they could um, do different recipes and experiment and be able to put it out, out into trade so that they can try their beer as well they're on the course. So we've seen the map outside. Um, people come here from all over the world. What is the furthest anybody's ever travelled? Really from kind of one side of the world to the other. So we've had students from Hawaii and New Zealand as well. Kind of take a look at the map there, uh, kind of strong focus on, on East and West Coast America. And I've had a lot of students from South America as well, so Brazil, Ecuador, quite well represented. But also kind of then going across over to places like India, Taiwan, Japan, Australia, and, and as I said, New Zealand, yeah. So, what's it like to study at Brew Lab? We met some of the students to get the lowdown. My name's Vikram Chavla, and I'm from the south of India, a place called Bangalore. Well, my business partner actually came to Brew Lab a year ago and actually did a course here and it came highly recommended from him and uh, after a lot of research as well and uh, a lot of understanding of the various programs that exist we decided that it was the right place to go and the right environment to probably study brewing. Well Brew Lab so far has been an experience uh, like, none, like none other. Um, it's you know basically an amalgamation of experience with knowledge as well as the art of brewing with the science of it and uh, it's the right place to be and uh, yeah it's where you meet people from various cultures and various different places with one thing in common which is the love for beer and brewing. Uh, my name's Daniel, I'm from Sydney in Australia but I presently live in Biarritz in France. Uh, if I was to recommend this course to someone what would I say? Um, that it's a crazy sort of creative environment that you're in and uh, there are people from all around the world and everyone with different ideas about what beer is and what it should taste like and different taste profiles and there's some pretty, it's a pretty interesting work environment to be in. Um, we've all made some pretty crazy stuff, some more general stuff as well, but um, the teaching and the facilities are amazing. I um, mean, Arthur Bryant, I think he's pretty well known, particularly in the north of England, but um, there's barely a question you can ask him about beer that he doesn't know, so 
Um, there was a bit of a myth online as well when I was doing my research that because it, it's named Diploma in British Brewing Technology, uh, that you're sticking with ales and all that sort of, you know, that sort of stuff, which is entirely untrue. I mean, the, the material, raw materials that we have available to us are something a home brewer could never, never match. Um, my name is Julio Espinosa and uh, I'm a brewer. First, the first time I came to Brew Lab was uh, seven years ago. And um, at that time, I did not know uh, much about brewing, and it completely changed my life. I, uh, I can tell you that officially I became a brewer, and uh, just my experience was, was beautiful because uh, here at Brew Lab, they have all the equipment, all the toys for you to learn in a very, very uh, uh, practical, um, formal, and just entertaining way. At the end of a long day's filming, we headed off to the Brew Lab bar sample some of Julio's beer that he brought from Ecuador. Okay, so now we're in the Brew Lab bar. It's great at the bar, isn't it? It's good from there. He will do some brewery. Um, you can book it for functions. Get on the website, www.brewlab.co.uk. Check it out there. We're here with Julio, who was a former student here, who's brought some of his own beers from uh, Ecuador. Um, tell us a little bit about them, Julio. Yeah. Well, sure. In the case of the um, Red Ale, um, which is a 6.5, Four uh, percent. Basically, um, what we use is crystal malt to give it that you know that distinct reddish color, which is you know, I think is pretty attractive. And it's it also uh, it's a beer which is uh, really well balanced, a little bit towards the sweetness. It's just really easy to drink, and in fact, it's one of our most uh, selling beers. Uh, yeah. And uh, well, in, in the what's in the what's in the IPA hot pot? In the case of the IPA, well, this is uh, an American interpretation of an IPA. Yeah. So we have American hops, and basically, in, in in this specific case, we're using Simcoe and Citra hops. Yeah. So they're pr it's pr they're pretty citrusy and fruity hops. You 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 will you know you will perceive these tangerine like uh, aromas. Yeah, nice balance between the fruity side of it and the and the side of it, which mm. is, I think sometimes you get out of balance in certain IPAs, but this one's really, really nice. So um, Dean, why don't we do this again? Uh, yeah, we do this. I love oh, it. Yeah. Cheers guys. Hey guys, welcome to Brew Stories. Hey guys. Well, it's our mission to meet the people yep. and bring you the stories about the best beer around. That's right, that's what we do, yeah. yeah. Hey, Dean. What? Do you know what Tiny Rebel of Wales, right. Beer Town of London, yeah. and Stone of California got in common? Oh, they all make great beer. Yeah, they do. But yeah. you also know that they all studied here in the north of England. I didn't know that. No. They did. It's called Brew Lab. Wow. Which is just over there. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Should we take the dog with us? <laughs> dog. <laughs> <laughs>